Good morning. So this is what I look like right now. I just woke up. Um, haven't showered, haven't done anything, haven't brushed my teeth. Good thing you guys are on video and you can't smell this. I also probably haven't shaved in a few days, which I probably need to do, so sorry about that. I wanted to before, why am I yelling? It's so loud in here. Okay, I am going to dye my hair. As you guys know, I've been blonde for a long time, since last fall, and before that I was blonde for like a year. My hair was super short, you guys remember that? It's like, it grew pretty fast. I've been taking a bunch of supplements, so it grew pretty fast. I've always wanted pink hair. Always, always, always wanted pink hair. I used to have pink highlights when I was in junior high, which looking back was a long time ago. Holy cow. Uh, I'm 30, so that was over 15 years ago. But I always wanted pink hair, but never did it. So I had a hair appointment a few weeks ago to get my hair done in like an ombre pink. And the problem was is that our washing machine broke. So going and getting my hair dyed, washing machine, washing machine was way more important. So as you guys know, the salon that I go to is quite expensive, which is why I grew my hair out because it was getting too expensive to go and get it trimmed up all the time and get it re-dyed and all of that because my hair has been growing super fast. Yeah, you guys probably don't want to know all this backstory, but too bad, I'm going to tell you anyways. So I didn't get it dyed back then. And then the more that I think about it, the more I'm kind of like, what if I don't like the pink hair? You know, I'm going to have to go back and, you know, get this put back in because I really do like my, like, bronze ombre or balayage. I like that look and John likes that look. So I was like, you know, it's going to cost me, you know, a lot of money to go back and fix it three weeks later, four weeks later, especially because colored like, you know, pastel type colors or high maintenance, that kind of thing. I was like, I really don't have the money for that right now. The responsible parent in me was like, I should not go to the salon to get pink. So instead, instead, I picked up this. This is the L'Oreal Colorista. It's a semi-permanent color. This says for bleached, light blonde, or highlighted hair. So I'm thinking it will hopefully do like a nice ombre since I do have such dark roots. And this is in the color purple. I wanted to do the pink, but my Target did not have the pink. And out of all the colors that they did have, this was the one that was like, I kind of like that one. And John as well agreed that he liked it too. So, but my hopes were to do pink, but whatever. So this is supposed to wash out within four to eight washes. So if I don't like it, it'll wash out. Also, if I don't like it, I only spent $10 on it if it doesn't work or I don't like the color. And then I have, of course, my tried and true brown auburn like auburn-ish brown hair dye stocked up in my basement. Yes, it was on clearance once. I've been using the hair color since, it's like a L'Oreal Feria color. I've been using it since I was probably, I wanna say 19. And it's basically the hair box color that I go back to in between this. So like when I get tired of being blonde at two o'clock in the morning, I go downstairs, I get my box of dye, I dye my hair brown, and then I'm like brown until I get tired of that, and then I go back and professionally get this put back in. So you guys have probably noticed over the last five years, that's what I do. Oh my gosh, I've been talking so long. You guys are probably so annoyed. Yeah, so that's the plan is I'm gonna put this in. If I don't like it, I'll go do my brown box dye, and then later I'll go back and get my highlights put in or my balayage and yeah, hopefully no harm, no foul. So this says um, no ammonia, no peroxide, and it's vegan. I'm not vegan, but it's vegan. So this says leave on 30 minutes for best results, saturate hair, rinse hair thoroughly with water, see instruction for blah, blah. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I've been dyeing my hair at home since I was probably 16, so can't be too hard, right? Tons of gloves, holy cow, lots of gloves. I think the gloves are because this is obviously sealable so you can reuse this numerous times. And uh, yeah, hopefully I'll get a fun purple color. So it's pretty cut and dry, It's pretty much like the directions are with any hair dye. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of do whatever I want. Oh, it's very purple. So I'm just gonna start putting it in my hair. No rhyme or reason, just gonna put it in my hair and kind of string it through with my fingers and hope for the best. It's pretty thick, which is kind of nice. My hair is like soaking this stuff up. Probably should have brushed my hair first. So I'm gonna entitle this video, What Not To Do When Dyeing Your Hair At Home By Yourself. Although I've really never had a fail when it comes to dyeing my hair at home. I've always been really successful at um, doing a decent job until today. My fear is that I'm not gonna get all the blonde covered like if I'm being honest, that's what I'm fearful of. And then it's gonna look streaky with blonde. Cause the black I don't think is really gonna do anything. 
don't know. I'm definitely going to use this whole entire bottle up. Like, there's not going to be anything left over. My hair is just, like, soaking this stuff up. And then the back's always the hardest. Like, when I'm doing all-over dye, it's not a big deal. But considering I can't see my back of my head. Eee. Oop, got it on my forehead. I really hope I don't look like a clown. Like, I think that's my biggest fear. Is that everyone else looks so good with, like, fun colored hair. But I just have this fear that I'm going to look like... I don't know. A clown. I think, I mean, if this works, I think $9, not bad. Yee. There's like a bright blonde piece right there and I need it to disappear. Oh, I'm getting it on my forehead. Kristen, if you're watching, I'm so, so sorry. You might have to fix this later. Kristen is my hairstylist. <laughs> I love how they gave me a brush. I'm not even using it. I'm just using my fingers. I totally just splotchied on my new bath rugs. So I feel like if I had the length of hair that I used to have, remember when I was like super duper long, I would need four bottles of this stuff. Like this one bottle is almost gone and my hair is only like a little bit past my shoulders at this point. I've been told I have a lot of hair though by everybody who's done my hair. I don't feel like I have a lot of hair. If anything, I feel like my hair is thinning as I've gotten older and had kids. According to my hairdresser, she says that I have a lot of hair. I just have a lot of fine hair, so it just doesn't feel very thick. But once you like start doing it, she says that I have a lot of hair. So with that being said, if I had longer, any longer hair than I do now, I would need at least one or two more of these bottles. Now we're gonna let it sit for 30 minutes and I'm gonna put new gloves on when I wash my hair because these are destroyed. All right guys, so I just took a shower. I just rinsed it out and I can already tell you that I don't think this turned out very well. Only because I can still see like clear blonde showing through. I see some purple. I won't know until I dry it all, of course, but I can like, I mean, there's blonde still. I can't see it. Like all of this is still blonde. This is what it looks like dry with my hair kind of like straight. I don't know. It's showing up a lot more in camera, I'm noticing, than in person. In person, it's like very, very subtle, but it looks a lot brighter um, on camera. The thing that I'm not a huge fan of is that it I thought it would be, I thought it would cover more. It's like it chose where it wanted to stick and where it didn't. Like that is full on blonde and then it suddenly goes purple even though this is the same tone of blonde that runs through my entire head of hair. I don't know, it's just weird how it did that. It's like, I don't know. Like I would definitely not call this, like the picture on the box was like full on girl head, purple hair. This is more like a very subtle frosting of purple hair which I'm not hating necessarily, but it's definitely misleading on the box. Like it's not, um, it's, it's misleading on the box. So I curled one side of my hair and left the other hair just to finish air drying on its own, just cause I wanted to show you like two different like dimensions, I guess. But as you can see in artificial light, it doesn't come off very strong and you can definitely see most of my blonde. It's really weird. It added a like tint to it like a hue, I don't know how to, I don't know. It just, yeah, it's really, it's really odd. It's really odd. So this is artificial light, and then this is natural light. The natural light actually looks really cool, but it's just odd that like in artificial light, it's not showing up at all. So, but you can definitely still see my blonde no matter what. I don't really understand. This is what it's supposed to look like, that strong purple, but as you can see, like, it's not, that's not what it looks like. And then on the other side, like, I just wish it would have covered more, like, look at that blonde, all of that. And I soaked, 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 soaked my hair. I will say that it's fun to play around with, but I don't think, I don't know, if this is what the look you're going for, I think it's great, but I think that the packaging definitely misrepresents itself a little bit. I don't think it's as like strong color as they want you to think, you know? My final opinion on the Colorista hair kit, I think that it's fun. I think that it's fun. I think it's like a nice way to change up your hair if you're interested in doing that and trying fun new colors. I don't think, I mean, it's only eight or nine bucks, so it's not really like that huge of a financial commitment either. And like it said, it washes out in four to eight washes, so it's not that much of like a commitment in general. Like you can just wash it out. 
I just want to say though to not expect too much out of it. It definitely colored my hair and gave it a fun purple look, kind of, you know, an, a grayish purple look, but it's not um, as pigmented as I thought it would be and like the box showed it would be. So I think it's worth trying for the price that it is, but don't expect your hair to be like completely transformed to like salon quality purple hair or colored hair, I guess you would say. Like this looks really fun and interesting on camera, but in person, I'm telling you it's not turning out, it's not showing up this purple. Like if it looked like this in person, I'd be like, oh my God, yes. But it's definitely more subdued in person. And I don't know how to show you that because the camera just tends to bring out colors a little bit better. I mean, look at all that too, like the underside, even though I, I dyed all of that, it still didn't change at all. Again, to repeat myself for the thousandth time, I do think that it's worth the amount of money and I think it's fun. I think you should try it if this is what you're looking for but just don't expect too much I guess is what I'm trying to say so you guys think do you like it should I try to go for something more permanent I don't know I'm just a little bit too much of a chicken a little bit a little bit also I really like blonde hair for this summer so I don't know it was fun though it was totally fun and worth trying so there's my final consensus on the stuff there you go the, the lights kind of dimming down so yeah, what do you guys think? Let me know below. Let me know if you've tried this, what your luck has been. That's about that for me. Uh, this is a totally random video, last minute. I didn't really know I was gonna film this morning. I was just like, you know, I'm gonna dye my hair. So that's just me in a nutshell for ya. But yeah, I'll talk to you guys in my next video. And yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching as always. Hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you later. Bye.